Hello guys, what's up? I'm Suresh Designer. Today we want to talk about V-Ray lights in SketchUp. So uh, I'm gonna use V-Ray version 6 in here and we have the uh, V-Ray light box in here. I can delete it and you can add this toolbar from here and check item about V-Ray lights in here. So uh, if I want to create some type of interactive render, I'm gonna click on this item and as you can see we have some interactive render in here you can minimize your screen like that and now I'm gonna uh, set some type of lights in here and check them with each other so uh, I'm gonna start with the rectangle light as you can see I can draw some rectangle light very simple and easy in here and I can rotate it like this and change the position of it everywhere I want like that and when I come to the uh, render interactive as you can see uh, we have this light in here but for the uh, sunlight we can't understand it well so I'm gonna come to the uh, V-Ray asset and turn off my sunlight another option I need is about environment sky and I'm gonna come to the uh, setting option environment and uncheck this item now you can see the lights in the uh, V-Ray in here so uh, I'm gonna click on the rectangle light we have different type of options in here for example the color I can change my color to the red or change my color to the blue and I can increase the intensity from 30 to 100 like that uh, for better results you can click on the units option and you have different type of light units for example lumens or lumions like that another one is the radiant power actually it's powerful than the others and another is radiance so uh, you can change the shape of your light for example you can change it from rectangle to the disk light like that and you can change the size of it very simple and easy and you and when you change your size actually the real size in the uh, SketchUp model has been changed so uh, we have some option called directionality as you can see if I increase this option the light focus on the one point and it's usually used for spotlights and we don't need it here another option we have is the invisible when I click on it as you can see we only see the uh, light and we don't see the light source and lights object in here when I check the no decay actually lighting start with no type of calculation so when I click on it, our screen has been burned, so I always turn it off. For the shadows, if I turn it off, actually shadows disable on my screen, so I don't need it in here. I want shadows. If I click on the double side option, actually our light will be act in double side, like this. And another options we have is about effect diffuse. When I decrease it, actually the light's intensity come down. And specularize about the uh, when I decrease it, as you can see, some type of little bit reflections and refractions on the surfaces. And another time is the uh, reflection. Actually, reflection and specular work with each other, so I'm going to set it on the uh, one and the uh, atmospheric is about the uh, light's energy in the uh, environment and the text resolution is not important so as you can see we can create some type of lights in V-Ray 6 very simple and easy and you can change your render setting in the uh, setting and turn on the uh, material override for better results in lighting I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe, don't forget it, and goodbye.